because that's that's their thing. Michael, are you there? <coughs> Testing one two three. Hey. So we got Michael Hermsen from uh, yeah, yeah, Wake Forest. Our show. technology works. Our technology works. That's Hello, gentlemen. How, how you doing? Doing good. very well. How are you? I'm doing good. So we're uh, we're playing your game. Uh, I'm trying not to make it look terrible because I'm terrible at it. But yeah, I'm Jordan's not doing kind a, of an embarrassment. I'm not doing a good job here. You did a fantastic job on this the first a, level, and F rank isn't that bad. Is it? Okay. Does it go lower than F? <laughs> um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> the stage is a big one. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <coughs> so. So t tell me, why, uh, what, what made you guys take this approach for this uh, sort of side-scrolling brawler angle for Blood Rain? Um, Wayfor is notorious for doing 2D platforming brawlers slash platformers, and we figured it was our strength, so we ran with that when we started our project. I, yeah, I would definitely say I, I so. I would definitely agree that that is, that is the, the strength of Wayfor. <clears throat> for, for Pro sure. tip for the frogs for you guys. Okay. Dash and then slash. Dash what is dash again? Left. Is that a uh, dash? There we go. Left trigger. trigger. Okay. Oh wow! Now there you go. Now you're not. Oh, you can also sorry. change the button layout too, which is a new one for us as well. Okay. You change button. Yeah. Well, yeah. I saw that in the. So look, look like the menu would allow you to do that. So, uh, how long have you guys been on this? Um, we were working on it since I believe maybe May, May April of last year. Uh huh. And um, it, it had a pretty smooth development cycle. It was a lot of fun. And, and how far out are, are we looking then? Do, do you expect uh, for this is in, in everyone's hands? Um, I believe the release date is August 30th for PSN and then August 31st for XBL Play. Okay. okay, so not too far. We're not far off. That's pretty exciting. Oh man! Oh, Jim Sterling, finally okay. here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Just please. If you guys have questions for uh, for way forward uh, on uh, Blood Rain Betrayal, please toss them into the uh, the chat room. We will be happy to ask them and force poor Michael <laughs> to answer them in, in, oh, man. in as so as, uh, dying here. as urgent <laughs> a possible uh, as urgent a manner as we possibly can. Uh, uh what, what is? Oh, head hop. Oh, okay. So that's what that's good for. Like, I was just using it to jump on crates. Oh. <laughs> uh, Gotta watch really those exploding it. barrels. Yeah, I did it way too early. Yeah, so this is, uh, so... Are there more enemies than these, uh, Nancy boys coming? Um, we, we will run into more enemies. Uh, the opening is a little light on guys just because we're getting used to the right. style of combat sure, that you have, sure. and then we move into it later. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them. Like that was the <laughs> big pretty great. That was the big draw for me when uh, when I uh, when we first uh, started playing it. Uh, Jordan and I got a real kick out of out of these uh, little fancy lads fighting us. Uh, are they are they all like do um, boarding school rejects or? They they are all boarding school. Rejects. <laughs> <laughs> they're uh, they're they're all trying to get to a ball that's coming up here shortly in a couple of levels. Okay. They want to be the ball of the ball, but they're all dressed oh. in the same costume, so that might be an issue. That's, yeah, that's going to be awkward for everybody at that party. <laughs> Can you imagine walking into, you know, just, just being like the 30th guy to show up and like, see I that can. everybody is dressed the same? <laughs> so where exactly, uh, El, uh, oh. Palindrome wants to know where exactly is the betrayal in this story? Um, the betrayal comes in to the storyline later, and there's lots of it, which is funny because initially we never planned for the title to be Betrayal, and Majesco was the one that ran with it. We just kind of wrote a story, and then they added the term Betrayal to it. And so then it just happened to work out, given the story, or did you... Yeah, it was, okay. it was just a really perfect mistake on both sides. Wow. Like, they weren't aware of what we were writing, and they're just like, hey, Betrayal is what we're going to call it. Um, Johnny Luchador wants to know if there are... Um any branching paths of any kind, or if it's just a straight up level to level progression? Um, we do have a few levels of branching paths, and there's a lot of secret, like hidden crystals, or uh, hidden blood skulls hidden throughout our level pulls. So yeah. there, there is a little finding stuff. It's yeah. just uh, most of the stuff is a straight. When level begins, stuff. level ends with a couple of side paths. Very cool. Very cool. Um, let's see here. So, did, do we have pricing nailed down on these yet? Um, I believe it's a thousand two hundred Microsoft points and fourteen ninety nine okay. for PSN. 
That seems reasonable. Yeah, it does. It seems. Well, I thought that's what I would expect. Um, Blue wants to know if there is slow mo. <laughs> there is no slow mo. No slow mo. Oh, now, now I'm, I'm not that terribly familiar with Blood Rain as a series in terms of its mechanics. Is, is slow mo a, a hallmark of the series? I, I don't know. Yeah, we're we're both running blind on that. It's it's been a long time since I played a Blood Rain game. Okay. So I'm a little unsure myself. Well, look at that. I would. Yeah, you know, ah, Jim Sterling would know. Damn it. Um, speaking of Jim Sterling, he'd like to know what we uh, what there are in terms of unlocks. Are we going to get new weapons or level ups or anything of that nature? We do have a couple of new weapons in the game, and w when you collect those blood skulls that I was talking about earlier, you get the chance to upgrade your health or your bullet count. Okay. So right now you guys are, I think, at five bullets. You could raise that up and then have more like one time kills on the enemies. Very cool. And uh, so uh, Trek Troop wants to know uh, what you're most proud of. I mean, you know, in terms of this project, what what's okay, the thing I can't that stands play this out anymore. for you? <laughs> I am so bad. At Okay. Oh, <laughs> I keep falling to that stupid pit. That's all right. I'm gonna do it too. You, you will. Uh huh. And and now I'm still gonna tease you and tell you that you sucked at. Yes, you will. Uh huh. Oh, can I get that question again? What was that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to know what uh, what what part of this the, the game's progress that you're you're most <coughs> proud of. What uh, what element of the development that you're you're happiest with? Um, out of anything, the level design came together fantastically. I had a great time building all the building most of the game and the fights. The um. I, I took a lot of inspiration from Mega Man X and a lot of Ninja Gaiden stuff, like old classic NES. Hmm. Oh. I, yeah, now that you say that, I can, yeah, I I can, can see, see that. that. I, I can could. see the Ninja Gaiden yeah. in this. I can see a little Mega Man 2. I it'll, swear to God, if I, see some, if I see some ninjas with jetpacks, we're going to have some words. You're going to see some birds later, and I'm joking. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh! That's just cruel. Uh, Jim wants to know how linked to the original game this is, and will there be Nazis? Um, we did not do Nazis in this one. Okay. If there is a want for more of this from the fans and Majesco, we do have a lot of plans for Nazis if we get to make another one. Okay. Um, however, as far as like the past games go, this is like a one-time offshoot storyline. Like oh, the char There's okay. some characters that will, will come back. That you'll get to see again, but it has nothing to do with the other games. Do you think we're gonna see a, a rise in Nazi enemies again? Because I hope not. You know, Nazis uh, kind of we kind of chilled out on Nazis. We got into zombies. Do you think maybe we could get Nazis back? I I, I mean, <laughs> if they're done well, they handle the elephant. <laughs> are they? There's ever no handled? proper way to yeah, answer that yeah, question. Yeah. Nobody does Nazis right. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing, though? They're so maligned yeah. throughout yeah. history. It's exactly. really amazing. Like, what did they do that was... Oh. <laughs> I guess there was that one thing. <laughs> well, it's, it's fine to have a good evil enemy to fight. And, I mean, they're, it's almost like the Empire. Yeah. So we got people asking about the soundtrack. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, the soundtrack is composed by Jake Kaufman. Okay. Um, he, he is Vert, known online, and um, he is fan. Fantastic. He's yes. got a very large fan base out there. Okay. Um, we do have a couple of unlocks attached to that, but I can't go into that for I've made him angry from previous conversations. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I could fall through the bottom of the screen here, but it just drags me back up, which is very nice for a boss fight that's kind of as chaotic as this, this is. This is chaotic. And, and I don't think I'm going to make it this time either. Pro tip for you guys, if you shoot at the bulbs as they come up towards you, you'll actually deal more damage on them. Also, okay. the head hop works fantastic against it as well. Okay. But you have to have the balls to go out on the ledge like that. Yeah. Well, it doesn't, yeah, and it doesn't seem to do too terribly much damage to fall, but it's, it's still significant. Mm -hmm. Bugs. Oh, just that. Ah, ah. You can also suck the bugs for life as well. So oh! When they come down towards you, you can grab on. I kept trying to do that and, and I was not successful. I you, you usually want to wait right as they're almost okay. in your body. Okay. Pro tip don't touch the don't, saw blade. Don't touch the saw blade. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> ah. Any other questions in there, Charlie? Uh. 
They think they're all making silly jokes. Oh, well, then make some silly jokes, <laughs> goddammit. Let's, let's be entertaining. We're talking about crowd punchers. We got poor I Mark. We got poor, I know. poor Michael sitting here just, just you know, blank air. No, it's fine. I'm Entertain sure the man. <laughs> okay. okay, I don't know if I want to ask this, but does Rain flop him out at any point? Oh, <laughs> there it is. I think I know the answer to this. We, we actually got a teen rating, and we were thinking that that might be one of the ways that we could have gotten him mature. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would say that would do it. <laughs> I think so. I think that's some wishful thinking there, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things, though, about what, is she really does. She's not that overly busty, I don't think, as a heroine. Um, uh, uh, maybe I'm not remembering I, I her correctly, know. but I mean, she had a figure, but she wasn't overly busty, which I kind of think uh, is a nice change of pace for our female heroines. It, so often, there's such a focus placed in the chestal region. <laughs> Women can have brains too, goddammit. Uh, and then we're getting questions about the art style now. Uh, so, how did you decide on it? And they say it has a modern anime feel to it, which I kind of agree. Um, our characters have a modern anime yeah. feel, which we specifically went for to differentiate itself from the play field. So that okay. the player doesn't get lost on the NPCs versus our backgrounds can see that. Are there any extra bonus characters you can unlock? Um, no, we only have Rain as a playable character. Okay. Oh, we're on to chapter three already. Wow. You guys are blazing through. We yeah, are. Well, now that I stopped playing, we are. Oh. Is there any particular person in real life that was the influence for Rain's latest wardrobe change? Um, you know what? We took a lot of different views on what we were going to do with her. She had a lot of character model changes over the development cycle. And from what I remember, we tried to take a lot of inspiration from like the previous games, trying to go for like a slick outfit, something that looks a little like the Matrix style, but still keeping something that connects it to the Blood Rain universe. The ribbons, I believe she had those in the original game, but they're really well like shown off on the Japanese box art for the Blood Rain titles, which is why we stuck with them here. So what are these brown guys? These guys are called wheelers, okay. and they're too low to shoot. However, if you see them rear back, like they're going to charge at you, you can actually get a shot off okay. on them. Uh, stop attack seems to be pretty effective for juggling. So you were, how familiar were you personally with uh, Blood Rain before, like the older games before you started working on this? Were you um, a, a fan? I had played some of them previously, mm -hmm. and um, I, I was somewhat of a fan. Most of the people on the team had no clue what it was. Okay. Uh, um, our, our director and myself sat down to watch the movies, and um, we got about 20 to 30 minutes into the first one, <laughs> and then had to quickly stop. There you go. There's your team plan. Don't do this in the game, you know. <laughs> it's your design doc. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't be the movies. So are you? Ex do you think a lot of the players that will play this will uh, have that experience, or are you expecting to get a lot of new people in, like uh, Conrad and me? I'm, I'm really hoping we get a lot of people just interested in the game. Uh, visually, I think the game looks stunning, and mm -hmm. uh, I, we, we had no negative input during all of E3, so. Yeah. I wouldn't expect you to. The one guy oh, thank comes you. up and yeah, the one guy yeah. comes up. Eh, this isn't very good. Hey, can we have three more frames of animation in there? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's just bloody and beautiful. Do you have a favorite enemy type? Oh, it's it's a enemy that's towards the end of the game. Oh. It's a Big bulky guy. I I won't go into much detail on okay. that though. However, our final boss might be my favorite boss fight I've ever had the pleasure to work on Ooh. or play against. Wow, that wow. is a okay. bold statement. There's some motivation to get to the end. Yeah, because I'll I'll tell you that uh, for for me one of the greatest boss fights ever. Well, and, and it's one of the greatest games ever in my in Mega Man 2. That boss fight <laughs> with uh, Wily and, yeah. and the alien. That 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 one that's one that always sticks in my mind. So I that's the the boss fight I judge all boss fights by. So I'm oh, that's looking understandable. Forward, looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, no, we do a lot of crazy things. There's a lot of late night ideas from programmers Ooh. and designers on the team, and somebody laughed 
laughing out loud going, oh, what if we did this? And then it was like 20 minutes later, it was in the game, and it was like, okay, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> That's where the best ideas always come from, I think, is the, just when you're delirious. Love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. I also love the friendly fire between the enemies in this game. I know I've mentioned that before, but that just gives me a it's lot of It's worth mentioning joy. again, yeah. I like that I could probably trap this guy underneath that and crush him to death. So now we're getting questions about Contra 4, which are you are you okay if we go into that a little bit? Um, I can talk about it. I did work on it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm willing to talk about involving the development, but yeah, I mean, that's fine. Okay, so they, they want to know what did you guys learn and what were some of the challenges you faced making it? Um, the challenges that we faced were trying to figure out how hard the difficulty needed to be. That, yeah, I can see um, that. We had a lot, of, uh, a lot of conversations with Konami on figuring out what was good and what was bad and what was considered completely broken. Initially, um, our bullet speed was, I think, like two, maybe three times faster than it is on hard mode. There's one enemy in particular in the game where, like, he would shoot. The bullet wouldn't exist on the screen. It would be like a pure line of death. And you had no clue where it was coming from. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was, um, it, was, it was a surprisingly fun project to work on, and Konami gave us a lot of input and allowed us to make a fantastic game for them. That's cool, yeah. I know a lot of people really, really love that game. Uh, I'm always glad to hear that. That was my second uh, level design job with oh, Way okay. Forward. What was your first then? Um, it was a SpongeBob game, and let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you guys have an interesting company. I mean, for people who don't know, you go on their website and look at some. They just have a really diverse, like the types of projects you guys are working on. Yeah, it seems like Way Forward almost won't turn down a project. <laughs> we do like working. You do, yeah. <laughs> you like money. I, I can't blame you. We, we. I, I actually don't work for money. I, I work for um, GameStop point cards. <laughs> <laughs> they just they let me go in and buy whatever I want, and then they just subtract it from however much they would have paid me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like there, I mean, the difference for you guys is we, we have there's lots of companies where they you know will do the licensed products, but then you guys will come out and do amazing games like this and all of your DSI. Well, games. yeah, I think that's I think that's it's, one of the things that sets that's, way forward yeah. apart is that they, they they have a tendency to approach uh, licenses with a level of care that uh, or at least a, a level of interest maybe mm. that a lot of other developers tend not to do. We do try our best to make sure to keep the main focus be that we're making a game. We we try not to get muddled down by the concept that this is going to be like a marketing idea or they're looking to just make some cash from it we want to try to make sure that we we bring a game to the table while making sure that we give the people that are paying us the product that they want do we have any more questions <laughs> we're talking about channel. weird predator and commando and other things of that nature so what 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 for you would be the dream license to work on oh for me specifically yeah yeah I, I, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. I, I would l love to have seen this game or something like this game go into like a Metroidvania style game. I, that's, that's a small dream. I, I think dream project would be doing something with Mega Man. I am a huge Mega Man fan. I would, you know what, I would really like to see a Metroid or a Mega Man in this, in this sort of really, you know, put a lot of effort into the art style and this, this type of game, that could be really cool. I'd like to see a Mega Man that put a lot of effort into it. Well, there it, you man. go, that, that period. Um, but that's just me being old and bitter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because I just want more Mega Man. Uh, I don't even care how they you get You don't care? <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Can't blame you too much there. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Mega Man games, the, the thing that's interesting about the Mega Man uh, series is that they're so willing to experiment. And that kind of like way forward in, in that way is that, you know, there's always something different being tried, whether or not it's, it's necessarily successful. And I do have to have a lot of respect for that series. Uh, okay, you get to uh, okay. for a while. Now they're starting to talk about Mega Man Legends a little bit. <clears throat> How disappointed would you be if Mega Man Legends 3 got cancelled? Myself personally? Yeah, yeah, you personally. Um, I, I might shed one tear and, <laughs> and feel pretty bad. <laughs> the blood but is I, awesome. I hope it doesn't. 
Yeah. The boat looks awesome. Is it actually re uh, interacting with the environment in real time? Um, it does react correctly to the collision, so it flows out. If there's like a hard collision right above an enemy, it'll stop abruptly. Um, it's all program uh, programmatic. Um, I, I know we spent a lot of time with it. We actually have some uh, development screens of the game. Once you beat the game, we unlock an art gallery, which I, I think I can say. I hope I can. Whatever. <laughs> you said it. And you can't um, take it back. Yeah. It's, it's there now. Um, in the art gallery, we have some development screens where you can see the blood shooting out of one of the guys, and it looks like it's um, a sprinkler, like just shooting off and kind of landing. And when we first had that into the game, we were blown away. We are like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. And then like you look like three months down the line in development, and we're like, why do we think that was good? It looked horrible. <laughs> I, like the, uh, I like the partial drain move. Yeah, where you can explode them. Yeah, and you I just like basically make them a walking bomb. That's fantastic. That does not, that does not get old. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you have to gum up the gears with them in oh, order to clear doing? the path. Yeah, I think that's what you're doing there. Which is pretty I don't excellent, know. too. Yeah. If you guys just tap X, she'll do a kick move on the final part of the combo, and she'll land the guys into the gears. Just tap X, don't hold direction. Keep hitting it. No, no, multiple times, Jordan, it's a combo. Uh, oh, the thing's <laughs> gone anyway. <laughs> but I'm surprised you guys have gotten this far. That gives me hope that most people will. I, I'm really concerned that the difficulty is too much. Yeah, we, we kind of, like, uh, I have a, there's a, a joke that I like to, to say, um, where if you ever want to prove that you're good, again, good at video games, play against the press. Um, because we tend to suck. We, yeah. You know, despite all the games that, that we play all the time, I, I find that people who play games for a living to write about them aren't generally that good at them. Um, Jim's good at FPSs. Um, I know a few people who are really, you know, have some specialties, but otherwise we suck. So <laughs> I, I'm, glad that, uh, I'm glad that you're comforted by this. <laughs> Well, you guys are doing well. I'm surprised you've made it this far. And e the deaths are expected. That's why we tried to make sure there was a lot of checkpoints in the game. Yeah, yeah. They've been pretty good so far. Well, yeah, I was that was surprising that very first level. There's a checkpoint right away. Like it wastes absolutely no point, no time in dropping that in. Um, Peaceful Panda surprised that you got a teen rating with all this blood. Um, we, we actually, um, I'm amazed that with those grinders you guys just saw a few minutes ago, we still got a team with that. Those guys yeah. get like pulled in and blood cones out like that. It's insane to me. <laughs> well, uh, what do you, uh, like, I never, I never even understand like what the, um, the process for the ESRB is so, so mysterious. And, and they're not, there's not any transparency. <laughs> T, it seems a lot T of for T right there. Some, uh, some imbalance between what one group of, of reviewers of the ESRB has a problem with and what another group might have. I'm, I'm unaware on how it works. I just know that at one point we were gunning for the mature for like six months and then all of a sudden it's like, you guys are teen. And it's like, oh, and it kind of took the wind out of our sails, but we uh, we so got back on the oh, bandwagon. You were again. gunning for, for <laughs> wow. mature. That was your goal. Yep, with the violence. Wow. <laughs> That's that's interesting. That's I would not, not have expected that's that. That's not something no. you normally hear, and I am, I am a little surprised by that because I would think that with the teen rating, you would uh, have broader opportunity. Um, for way forward, we were looking forward to getting a mature title underneath our belt because oh, okay. most of our stuff has aimed towards kids. Sure. And sure, yeah. like Contra was still teen, um, but uh, yeah, we we are once we got over the initial shock of not being mature, we realized we'd get into more hands of people that way at least. Yeah, I, I mean, you could have fooled me if you had told me this was Raven Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. So. I could definitely see that. But we never cut any content, so everything's there, okay. still in there as we decided. Nice. Wow. It's so funny, though. You so rarely hear of a developer shooting for, you know, a harsher rating. Um, uh, the game just is, is damn cool. Let's see if any of our people have more... Uh, more questions. Uh, Johnny Barrow wants us to go into the achievements. I'm not going to do that. No one because, <laughs> because there's, yeah, well, there's there's achievement leaks that, you know, someone will leak the achievements a week or two before the game comes out. I don't want to be the guy that does that, so. And thank you guys for not asking that, because yeah. I would have totally just told you all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I like that there'd be a little mystery.
there's a little bit of mystery sure. to things like achievements. Well, that's always the first thing I do when I play a new uh, game, is look at the achievements usually. Just to see what's out there. I miss the old days when there was no internet, and I would struggle to beat a video game because yeah. I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> I don't miss that part of it so much. I kind of like having the guides there, to be frank, because mm -hmm. I get I do get frustrated after a point. And, and Lord knows the number of games I have sitting around incomplete because I got bored and frustrated is, is many and vast. But uh. um, let's see, people want to know if there's going to be uh, possible expansion packs for this or a PC version. Um, that's primarily up to Majesco. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to comment more than that. Okay, so there you go. Talk to Majesco. Tell them that, that you think this Demand, game is awesome. Demand, Demand yes. DLC. And, and insist that way forward be made responsible for producing it. You can dash at the top of your guys' jumps as well. So yeah, you can so jump once and then forward. dash. Okay. I that's You say that like I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> I don't think that's... Okay, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I can do this. Actually, and that's that's a big Mega Man X kind of influence. That yeah, air dash. lots of dashing. Would it be possible to have DLC for this game? Well, I don't see why it wouldn't, JG in 62. I, I think it would be possible. It's just a matter of uh, how Majesco feels about adding yeah. more to the game. Those grinders are vicious. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice dashing. Wow, look at them. <laughs> bones just go everywhere. What the hell is with spikes in video games, and how the hell do contractors even put up spikes on platforms and ceilings without <laughs> building violation codes? <laughs> well, spikes have had a long history in video games that goes back from even before Mega Man. <laughs> yep. And um, it takes a lot of work to get those spikes on the ceilings because usually there's one or two guys like me who ends up having to sit there with the computer on trying to figure out where they're going to properly go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. What else we got going on in here? Was well, there anything you want to talk about? Like, yeah. I mean, what, what, uh, what stands out for here, you? What do you want to draw our attention to? Um, oh wow. I mean, uh, our boss fights get pretty grandiose as we keep going. Um, I hope you guys get to the next one because that one's pretty awesome for the opening. All our startups are pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know. I'm still amazed at how beautiful the game looks. It runs so beautifully. It's our first seven, or uh, our first oh geez, what was it? I think it's our first HD title. It's our first time hitting major console, or hitting like next gen consoles besides the Wii. Matters whether you figure that is or isn't. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know. I'm just glad to see you guys are rocking it so well. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> What stage is this? This is stage three, yes? Or, well, I think it's four. Right? Oh, are we up to four already? You guys are on chapter four. Okay. Wow. And how many stages are there in the game? You guys have 15 to play through. Oh, my word. Uh, at how many points at this game do you think I will be blown away by the surges in the level of awesome the game looks like it's delivering? <laughs> well, um... We had to get a lot of technology together to find out how many surges of awesomeness there Important is in the game. Important Mike's number one fan. That's got to be someone that works for you. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to answer that one. <laughs> uh, what was Wait. one of the, the major challenges to overcome in this, in this design? What, 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 what was the hardest thing to do? Um, you know, like coming up with the interesting battle bars, like right now this fight was originally thought up simply because I accidentally made a V-shape with that like grinder that's going back uh, up and down. And um, that became one of my favorite boss ba or like battle bar scenes because each battle bar could just be a bunch of guys jumping in and that's it. But we wanted to make sure that the environment around the fight at least focused on making the player being interested in every fight. Otherwise, you're going to get bored of it will turn into like a classic brawler where it's just beat up these guys now go to your next battle beat up these guys now continue onward and so now the the score awards that we're seeing and this is and it's kind of interesting there's uh, score awards and penalties based on performance um, which you don't see a lot of the penalties you, you usually see uh, skill awards um, uh, is that strictly for leaderboard bragging rights or is there some higher uh, purpose I bet you could head stop those guys and get oh. access another area Wow, good eye. Yeah, thanks. I play video <laughs> games. And good eye, because that is totally got a secret up that way. <laughs> so anyway, um, um... Yay! 
I forgot my question. The, uh, our score system is primarily just bragging rights, but it does attach to an achievement, which I will not go into. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what are those flying things? I I can't quite tell. They look like missiles. That's... They are, oh, the, those are sign knives. Those are our local enemy. Oh, and to the left, there was still more. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, right in front of the chair. I know. That's always How embarrassing hard. for you. It's a good thing I don't get embarrassed <laughs> by. Uh, any uh, higher difficulty modes? Hardcore mode? Um, no, we, uh, we initially threw around the ideas of doing easier modes or possibly harder modes. And um, we decided midway through production that the game itself was just going to be the difficulty that it starts at. Right on. Respect that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't generally. Well, I don't generally play a game more than once, personally. So I don't know how much, uh, no, that, no. How much need there is for multiple. Difficulty you get attacked by a cat and tries it up, boy. What are you doing? You're bathing yourself on the show again. Have you no shame, cat? <laughs> <laughs> this is every week. Yeah. So uh, feel free to, to to come back and tune in. I swear to God, it's not just your show. Every episode is like this. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm here for this then. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, well, we're glad to have yeah, you. Yeah, this, is, this has been a lot of fun, and the, the game yeah. is just fantastic. I can do it. I can do it. Um, <laughs> how did you balance the score reward punishment system? Uh, Johnny Viral says he was quite frustrated with the system used by Comic Jumper. Um, did you look at games like that to tweak the system? We actually had all of our systems, all of our ways of playing the game hooked up to our server, and any time someone played through a level, it capped the points for battle bars, like told you how quickly you went through it, or how quickly someone went through it, and how, what points they got, and then it told us at the end of the level how many points they got and how quick their speed was. So hmm. we, instead of trying to do like the t best testers time, we actually did an average of everyone's times, and then slightly ramped it up a little. So it's not like, okay, you have to beat WayForward's best tester to be able to like, get an S rank. It's, you have to beat like, an average of WayForward players, which includes programmers and artists and other people that sat down with it. Well, that sounds a lot more reasonable. It does. <laughs> um, Breaking3PO says he's never touched a Blood Rain game or movie. She's a vampire, right? She is a vampire! She's a half-breed. She's a damn peer. Yeah, oh. there you go. Half-breed vampire. Likes to kill Nazis and Nancy boys. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like that guy because he got the most. He got the second most animation next to Rain. Oh, he's so delightful. <laughs> it's, just, it's just you look. I look at him and I want to kill him. I mean, you know, some enemies you think, oh, that's kind of cute, or oh, that's neat, or oh, that's a badass. No, this guy, I just want to stab. I love him. I feel like I'm missing something here. Yeah, there seems to be some sort of door blocking Jordan's progress. F worm, F for fucking useless. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's about what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'll take, I'll take the harsh criticism. We won't, we we won't make Michael say that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Blood Rain will never be as badass as Slayer from Guilty Gear. Got a little trolling going on in the channel. Um, so I can, I can even accept that. <laughs> uh, Jim Hines wanted to know about the Batman Brave and the Bold game. What was the development experience of that like? If you can even speak to that. Um, I did work on Brave and the Bold for the Wii, and I did some work on the DS one, and those games were put together very quickly and had a ton of animation. Mm -hmm. And um, they're both very beautiful games, but um, I, if anything, I'm glad that we got a lot of uh, good points towards reviewers for uh, sticking to the storytelling uh, mm -hmm. style of the series. Yeah. I thought it was a really interesting title, and I, I didn't actually get a chance to play the full release, but I played it at E3 last year, and just thought it was fascinating. Um, just beautiful, and, and took an, a great approach to storytelling, so I, I hope that was a success for you guys, because it, uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, it helped us get what you guys are playing right now. The hand-drawn oh. animation stuff was, uh, was slightly not well received at first before Batman, so mm -hmm. hopefully we get more products like this, because uh, we love doing them. Well, it's so hit and miss with the hand-drawn animation stuff. Like, uh, it, you know, not to not to complain about someone else's game briefly, but uh, Half Minute Hero, um, oh, the, that new version. I mean, their hand-drawn art is just I find it uh, repugnant. Yeah. Um, so it's it, it you have to have something that really works for your game, I think, and that's uh, 
That's what I'm feeling here. I actually haven't had a chance to try the new Half Minute Hero. Is it worth it? I have I, well, it on PSP. If, if you, you have, own the original, not really. Yeah, if you have the PSP version, I wouldn't bother wasting your time with the uh, XBLA. I mean, it just takes Hero 30, gives you that again, adds a few more quests, and then um, all of the secondary modes that were in the PSP version, the Princess 30 and the uh, Dark Lord 30, those are just one extended Hero 30 level instead of their little you know, different gameplay mechanics. Um, oh, that kind of makes me sad. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. disappointed. <laughs> Um, in the online multiplayer, I, I don't think anybody's going to be playing it and didn't feel like it added a whole hell of a lot to it, so um, you're probably better off. I, I think what may happen with that game, and uh, I'd love to get a representative um, from, uh, from Marvelous to, to, to speak to this, but uh, I think I expect on. DLC to expand that game out and make it the full PSP release eventually. It's going to be bad. So I'd love, yeah, I'd love to hear from from them on that, and if anyone knows yeah. anyone there, you know, please send them my way. I think you need I to have take complaints. <laughs> Tell us Do I need to I'll take try this? one more time. All right. Oh, that was painful, but I'm sorry you guys had to go through that with me. That was a bad experience. <laughs> I was doing so well. Well, we're in context of uh, what I was doing before, I was doing well. So now that you guys have sort of mastered this uh, hand-drawn art style, what uh, other games would you like to do with it? Oh man, um, <laughs> I, w I would love to see just anything else with it. I, I love working in the level design tool for this game. All of the art is just like tile set base, except for it's one chunk of art. And it, uh, it, it all came together very quickly and easily. So um, I, I hope we get to do more with it. Uh, <laughs> knocking over my mouse, bastard. How dare you. God, you suck, Jordan. I know. This is, this is just sad. Like, anybody else would have been on level 6 by now. Probably. <laughs> this is what happens when you play games in front of a live audience. It is, you actually. You lose all ability. It's a lot harder. Um, let's see, we've already answered the question of uh, how long this game's been in the world. About a year. Um, Conrad's back. Hi. How you doing, Fahrenheit? Good to see you. Um... People want to see Strider and Onimusha done like this. Um, with hand-drawn style, do you practice with like paint by numbers or those coloring books where you connect the dots? <laughs> I do use those often, but we don't need them for work. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Another notable game from Way Forward is Boy and His Blob. Um, I do love a Boy and His Blob, by the way. Um, the uh, I'm, I'm looking for. I haven't finished it. I'm looking forward to. Uh, maybe we can get you. Or someone else from way forward to, to come and hang out with me when I play that on backlog eventually. I, I would love that because that was also one of my games as well. Oh, I, just, I think it's a, a, ter a terribly charming game, and I mean I loved the original for what it was, but it, it was a deeply flawed uh, game, um, just just by nature of being as early as it was. And so I I love what you guys were doing with it. If you could talk a little bit about um, the development of that. Um. Oh well. <laughs> It's been a long time, but um, I, as far as like I w was lead level designer on that game, the levels were miraculous. Like we put those things together so quickly, and um, they're all put together with the concept of making sure that the player can at least sit there and enjoy themselves and figure out the puzzle. But um, multiple playthroughs of that game, I, I can't even imagine somebody enjoying themselves once they figured out all the puzzles. It's it's like playing Layton or uh, Phoenix Wright again. It's like you know what the story is. Uh, going back for a second trip is, is it, you can do it, but um, I mean, like, just testing that game or going through the levels multiple times drove me up the wall. Oh, I can only imagine. I mean, that hug button, that probably goes a long way. <laughs> well, you guys have a hug button in this game. <laughs> yes, 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 you do. A Peaceful Panda wants to know if uh, Street Fighter 2's HD art direction was uh, uh, any sort of an influence on this. Um, you know what? I wouldn't be aware of it being an influence, but I, I will admit that we all play it here, so. <laughs> so there you go. People are uh, people are fans of the Street Fighter 2 HD over at Way Forward. We do a lot of uh, game nights, a lot of fighting games here. We do. Um, I actually try to get people together in the month of May to play through every Mega Man game to promote Mega wow. Man. <laughs> we do uh, Mega May is what I, I have affectionately called it for the last like ten years. <laughs> that is that that sounds, sounds amazing. It does. That's, um, yeah, I would I would want to witness something like that. 
<laughs> well, uh, one day we may live stream. Who knows? No, that you should do that. You should do that. We, 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 might, we might be able to help you with that. Um, <laughs> Way Forward is almost single-handedly keeping a genre of 2D platformers alive. Is there a reason why publishers don't have faith in that genre any longer? Or, or is, is Jim wrong completely when he says that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he's necessarily wrong, but um, I, I do know that people come to us specifically knowing that we do keep it alive. Shit. <laughs> Good job on the skull there. Yeah. Way to go, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Johnny Luchador has just now noticed that you can jump on the spikes. Are there warp pipes to move on to different chapters? <laughs> Um, no, we don't have warp pipes. That would have been kind of cool, though. Oh, <laughs> would have been a little strange, but yeah. Oh god. Well, we're, uh, we're we got about ten minutes left in the program. Um, you can watch the Saturday morning Hangover. Uh, I'm Connor Zimmerman. That's Jordan Devore. Uh, make sure to follow Destructors Justin TV channel. We have all sorts of great content on every single day of the week. We're chatting with Michael Herbster from. Uh, way forward and playing Blood Rain Betrayal, which is coming out in when again? August? September? You said August, um, right, it's, uh, it's August 30th and 31st. August 30th and 31st to PSN and Xbox Live Arcade, respectively. Um, Jim Hine would like to see Way Forward revive Double Dragon. I would like to see that, too. Mm. I... I, I I would love that. I would could only hope. I wonder who has the license for that. That was Trade West originally, I want to say. And Wasn't it Data East? Trade West was Battletoads, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You're right. It was Data East. Hmm. I wanted, I, nothing's been done with that license forever. That would make me a happy panel. You know, actually, Data East, <laughs> a lot of their games, they're bringing back. Uh, Joe and Mac and what was the one? I think they had one with a monkey in it where you could shoot out of his mouth. They're bringing back Toki. Toki. There you go. Yeah, yeah they're bringing it. So yeah, that could be really cool. I'm a, <laughs> um, a big fan. Now this is this is a lesser known Data East game. Back. I mean, it's not like a bad dudes or anything. The Dash and Desperados. Never oh my that. God! It was on the Sega Genesis and uh, Super. Nin no, I don't know if it released for Super Nintendo. And I think it was distributed by US Gold, which is like their European distribution arm. It was really strange. Um, but what uh, what it was is you you were two cowboys competing to win the affection of a a sweet you know like poly uh, purebred type character, and so you're both running along the same 2D platforming track, racing against each other, throwing bombs at one another and crap. And it was a two it was a split screen, top and bottom. It was incredibly fun, unless you were playing against the computer, in which case it was just great. But great game. That's that's something I'd like love to see another one of. Um, let's see here. So could rather you just remade the Double Dragon movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty great. Bayou Billy. Ooh. Oh, that's a that's that's pulling a blast from the past. As long that. as we can use the zapper. <laughs> that's. Yeah. Well, now for the for the Wii, that's we don't see enough uh, use of the uh, the Wii remote being quickly flipped or anything. You know, going from uh, from controller yeah. to to pointer. I want to see more of that, and that's something that would probably work well for Bayou Billy. Uh, do we do love two? You want to see that? Oh man, Battletoads would be a great game to bring back, but. If there, there's such a, a reputation. I mean, can you make a Battletoads game without it being obscenely difficult? You can, and then people will get really mad. Well, people are going to get mad if you made a Battletoads game. Yeah. No. What do you think, Michael? What's the, what's the appropriate difficulty level for like a Battletoads remake? 